Take it away. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Viking Spin. I'm your host Jason and we are going to break down the Vikings 29 and 19 victory over the New Orleans Saints. I couldn't be happier about that. Uh, the Vikings get a win in their season opener uh, over the uh, Drew Brees slash Adrian Peterson led Saints. Um, <clears throat> gonna gonna start off with some uh, some of the uh, PFF grades that your top five Vikings last night were Riley Reef, Sam Bradford, Harrison Smith, Adam Thielen, and Eric Kendricks, uh, according to Pro Football Focus. Um, and just what we know from the stat line as well as the eye test, I mean, Sam Bradford was just absolutely amazing last night um, with his with his throws, with his uh, with his checks in and out of the in and out of plays on run pass options getting the Vikings into the right play um, at the right time uh, Dalvin Cook was absolutely legit broke uh, Adrian Peterson's rookie debut uh, record uh, AP had uh, 107 yards in his 2007 rookie debut uh, Dalvin Cook finished with 127 um, and Dalvin Cook really gave the Vikings offense a ton of balance and that uh, also helped in enabling Sam Bradford to have such a huge night and which he threw for 346 yards and three touchdowns um, <clears throat> and you know it was it was a performance ESPN said he was the top uh, the number one rated quarterback in week one um, he had some help from Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen, of course. Uh, Thielen had 157 yards receiving. Uh, Diggs had 93 yards receiving and two touchdowns. Uh, Kyle Rudolph had the other receiving touchdown for the Vikings. Uh, Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen were just lights out um, on the same page with Sam Bradford. Um, this offseason that the offense has had with Pat Shermer, um, and having a whole OTAs and training camp and everything to prepare um, has really put this offense on a new level, a new comfort level. And uh, probably the biggest key uh, was the offensive line. The offensive line was great last night. Um, <clears throat> this is the Minnesota moving company, uh, finally. So we see, um, you know, Berger is the only holdover from last season, and he's playing right guard uh, where he was playing center uh, last season. So essentially, you could make the case that it's five new starters. Uh, rookie Pat Elfwine had a phenomenal night. Uh, Riley Reef gave up zero pressures. Um, everybody on the offensive line played well. The Vikings only gave up one sack all night. Um, protected Bradford. Um, with you know good clean pockets he had you know three or four seconds to throw the ball which was almost unheard of last season and there were actually holes opening up in the running game for the backs which was another thing that was that was unheard of last season so a tremendous difference uh, the Vikings investments in the offseason in free agency and the draft on the offensive line definitely paid off so it was great to see that uh, defensively, I thought Eric Hendricks was outstanding. Um, very stout run defense. You know, it seemed like uh, when we were stuffing, you know, the Saints running game, it was Eric Hendricks always involved. Uh, Linval Joseph was getting a, a good push, too, to help out with that. Um, Hendricks and Barr both looked good in coverage, too. Uh, I thought Barr was moving around very well last night. Uh, Xavier Rhodes uh, pretty much uh, shut down 
Michael Thomas uh, made him a non-factor in the game. Um, you know, I, I thought Everson Griffin was was active. Um, you know, in the line of scrimmage, you're getting pressures. You you got a sack as well of Drew Brees. So I thought the defense played played very well. Um, and then on special teams, um, he had one mixed extra point, but he was three of three on field goals. Kai Forbath hit all three of his field goals, so he's now 18 for 18 as a Viking uh, since coming uh, signing last season in the middle of the year. Jarek McKinnon, um, after a, a shaky first kickoff, improved throughout the game. Um, he consistently had the Vikings uh, starting, you know, uh, past the 25-yard line. Um, Marcus Sherrills was solid in the punt return game, as he always is. And uh, new punter Ryan Quigley had a good game, uh, some good hang time and pinning the Saints back deep. Um, you know, giving the Vikings defense uh, a nice advantage. Uh, so all three phases played very well. I know Coach Zimmer was very pleased with the performance of all three phases, offense, defense, special teams. You know, uh, what more could you ask for? I mean, Drew Brees was contained. Adrian Peterson was stuffed. Um, you know, the other backs, uh, Kamara and Ingram, didn't do much better. Um, and another thing was... The Vikings had very good clock management, um, and that's something that we were looking for. You know, that we've been looking for improvement on. Coach Zimmer did a good job of it last night. Um, the Vikings were able to move the ball very quickly. Um, they had a touchdown drive right before the end of the first half. It, it was 10-6, and they made it 16-6. to uh, with a 10-point lead going into halftime. And how they did that was they they had gotten the ball deep in their own territory, and the Saints called a couple of timeouts to, that they were confident that they were going to get the ball back, that the Vikings were just going to, you know, maybe just sit on it and punt. Um, but then on third down, the Vikings picked up the first down, and um, they were able to march down the field and, uh, and get a touchdown. Um... You know, and <clears throat> put the Saints um, in a bigger hole headed into halftime, and then the Vikings would, of course, get the ball to start the second half and and uh, have a field goal to make it 19 to six. So, you know, the Vikings pretty much um, they never really let the Saints get back into the game. Once the Vikings took the lead, um, you know, the Saints were up six to three. The Vikings scored on uh, Bradford's touchdown pass, first touchdown pass to Diggs at 10-6 at that point. Um, you know, they, they just, they never took their foot off the gas. And then, you know, when the Saints would pull a little closer, you know, when it was, when it was 19 9 the Saints got a field goal in the, um, you know, in the second half there, and the, the Vikings answered in the clutch again with another touchdown. Um, to make it 26 to 9 so they never let the Saints really get back into it where you know where you thought that they might have a chance um, you know to, to win the game so <clears throat> that was good to see uh, they closed out the game well um, really ran the ball well in the second half and uh, kept Drew Brees off the field uh, the Vikings were also outstanding on third downs uh, Sam Bradford did a really good job converting third downs um, and keeping drives alive. You know, it seemed that he'd be hitting Adam Thielen or Diggs um, on third down, too, you know, to keep those drives going. Uh, the crowd noise, too. I mean, oh, my God, it was excellent. It really disrupted the Saints. I know they had to call a couple of timeouts because of the noise. Um, and that makes a big difference, and that's why Zimmer always talks about it, you know. Some people downplay that stuff, but I absolutely I don't because it it affects the opponent's communication and it makes them go to their nonverbal communication, which you know maybe they're not as proficient with that. So you know it <clears throat> it definitely helps, and I think the players feed off of that energy too. Um, I thought, of course, you know if, for the offense and moving the ball. Um, Shermer 
called an excellent game as far as play calling goes. And Bradford's audibles were very smooth, um, that he was able to get in and out of plays quickly. So, um, you know, it was it was just a fantastic game all the way around. Um, it was really cool for Vikings fans to see Randy Moss, um, you know, get the purple jacket and go in, in the ring of honor. Um, you know, and then for Diggs and Thielen to, uh, to, to pay homage to him with the you know, with the Randy Moss cleats, you know, to, and to beat the the hated New Orleans Saints. I mean, none of us have forgotten about Bonnie Gate and Sean Payton and everything that, that came along with that team. I think this was just a really emotional game for both sides, and the Vikings wanted it more, and it was just, it was fantastic to see. So, uh, very happy with that performance, and um, now it's going to be on to... Uh, the Vikings' next game will be uh, at Pittsburgh uh, to play the Steelers on Sunday. So thank you guys so much for, for tuning in, and um, <clears throat> we'll see you next time on Vikings Spin. So long.